In this video, we're going to be looking at how to graph linear inequalities. Now that involves being able to graph a line, but we're going to be shading because we're looking at the solution set. And when you have an inequality, you have an infinite solution, and the way we can represent that is graphically. How do we graph a linear inequality? First of all, you're going to treat it just like a line, and you're going to solve for y and you're going to find that slope and that y-intercept. And then we're going to graph the line by plotting that y-intercept first on the y-axis, and then we're going to use the slope, that rise over run, to get other points. We're going to graph a solid line if your inequality involves an equal to part, but we're going to use a dashed or dotted line if you don't have that equal to part, because we're going to represent it as going to get all the answers would be as close to that line as possible, but not on the line. And then we're going to decide which way to shade. There's a lot of different techniques for that, but I think the easiest way is to look at the y-intercept. And then you're going to shade below the y-intercept if you have y is less than. And you're going to shade above the y-intercept if you have y is greater than. So let's start with the first example. We want to solve for y. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Now notice that is in that y, and I'm going to say equals, mx plus b form. So let's identify m, which is the coefficient of x, and I'm going to put that over 1 so I can do that rise over run, and then my y-intercept is 2. So I want to pretend for just a minute that this is just an equality, and I want to graph that line. So I'm going to go up 2 on the y-axis, and then from there, I'm going to go rise over run. So up 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And then just to get some other points, remember that 3 over 1 is the same as negative 3 over negative 1. So I could go down 3 and to the left 1. Down 3 and to the left 1. And the reason why I'm doing that is just so I can get a better line. This is where we're going to go back and look and say, ah, I don't have an equal to part, so I need a dashed line or a dotted line. And it's really helpful to use a straight edge. Your ID, your driver's license, credit card, those are all good straight edges. And then you want to make your line long enough where it kind of goes through your little block of graph. Now we need to decide how to shade. So this is where we go back to where we've solved for y. Y is what compared to 3x plus 2? Y is greater than. So here's our y-intercept, which is 2. Greater than 2 would be 3, 4, 5, 6, and so forth. So I want to shade on that part of the line. So I want to shade all above the line, make it very clear, and that's your solution set. Let's look at this example. Hmm. Well, the y is on the other side, but you know, we're mathematicians. We can read left to right or right to left. So let's just solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 4x. I'm going to divide by 3. So again, the coefficient of x, that's going to be your slope, and the other number is going to be your y-intercept. So my slope is negative 4 thirds, and my b is 3, and we want to do that first. So we're going to go up here on the y-axis at 3, and then I'm going to go down because it's negative, and over to the right because that's positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, down, and to the right, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. Also, remember, negative 4 over 3 is the same as positive 4 over negative 3. So I could go up and left, 1, 2, 3, 4 and left 1, 2, 3. And notice those points are all in a line. And again, I'm going to use a dashed or dotted line because there's no equal to part. Now here comes the tricky part for this problem. This was the form, and remember you've got to go back to that form to decide where to shade. And you have to read this from y. So how do you read that? That says y is less than 3 minus 4 thirds x. Y is less than. So we're going to go to our b, 
and less than 3 is 2, 1, 0, all on this side of the line. And that's where we're going to shade. So the tricky part is again is reading it from Y. Be very careful. Now you can avoid that if you want to put your Y on the left hand side and that would take care of that problem if you just like to read left to right. Okay, so once more we have a Y on the right hand side. I'm going to handle that okay. So I'm going to subtract 12 and now I need to divide by negative 3. Hmm. Do y'all remember what happens when you divide by a negative with an inequality? You have to reverse that inequality. So I have negative 4 thirds X plus 4 but now that's got to turn around and that's Y. So when you divide an inequality by a negative or multiply by a negative, you reverse the inequality. Right, so we have a slope of negative 4 thirds. We have a y-intercept of positive 4. So we're going to go up here at 4 and then I'm going to go down and then to the right. Nope, yes, down because it's negative, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right because the 3 is positive. This time, because it does have an equal to part, I'm going to connect these points with a solid line. Again, I come back up here and I want to read this from Y and that says Y is less than or equal to negative 4 thirds X plus 4. Again, Y is less than, so here's 4, less than, it's going to be 3, 2, 1, 0. Remember if it's greater than, we would do the other side and then we would shade. You could work that problem again by putting that Y on the left hand side and you would end up with the same exact answer. But I encourage you to be able to read right to left and left to right. Let's look at these last two problems. These should be easy if you've done your memory work. If you only have an X, what kind of line is that? That's vertical. So we have on the X axis, negative 2. It's going to be a dashed or dotted line. We want X to be greater than. Well, here's negative 2. Where's greater than negative 2? Well, over here on this side. So we're going to shade to the right. This one, we should know that's a horizontal line because we only have a Y. It's at 4 on the Y axis. And this is a solid line because of the equal to part. And this says less than. So I'm going to shade below the line. And that's all there is to it. So if you understand how to graph lines, graphing inequalities is really quite simple.